2022 Audi e-tron GT first look, bigger muscles on the juice. Audi's all-electric Grand Tourier translates the concept's appeal into a serious driving machine. Audi is very, very serious about Grand Touring. Not only is the concept of long-distance travel in great comfort and at great speed referenced in the name itself, GT, the brand's gone to great lengths to make it a reality. The all-electric 2022 e-tron GT appears to have the hardware and capability necessary for cross-continental travel. And it looks the part, too, barely distinguishable from the concept car we drove back in 2018. While that was a hand-built fantasy, this is a vehicle that needs to meet customer expectations and deliver polished performance as drivers probe the limits of EV endurance. With the production vehicle's details revealed, it seems this Audi might have what it takes. And in two flavors. The base e-tron GT Quattro is formidable, but it's the e-tron GT-Rs that has our attention with more performance and additional power. Not taken its looks for granted. The e-tron GT shares its j one Air platform with the Porsche taken, so comparisons between the two are unavoidable. But the e-tron GT has a very distinct look to go with its palpable emphasis on touring. The Taken's lines are smooth and organic, while the e-tron GT is heavily muscled. Indeed, Audi's designers threw the word muscular around a lot in presentations and interviews, and there isn't a better word for the styling theme. The fenders swell, sharply defined creases bulging out of the metal the e-tron GT is cut, no doubt about it. It has the sort of swagger that unapologetic GTS in the 70s, such as the Aston Martin V8, embodied. Whereas the Taken looks fast, the e-tron GT looks fast and brawny. Save the roof that swoops sharply towards the rear deck, the relation between the two isn't immediately apparent a credit to Audi's design team. The available 20-inch aero wheels contrasting finishes and blocky elements add to the visual presence and the effect makes this production e-tron GT look even more like a concept car you can buy. All U.S. bound e-tron GTS come standard with 20-inch wheels of various designs, 21-inchers are optional. The GT slippery drag coefficient of 0.24 shows that the extra stylistic brawn doesn't come with an aero penalty it nips on the heels of the Taken's 0.22, both quite low. Porsche always does cars like this, Mark Licht, design chief at Audi, said. I never got the chance to do one until now. Indeed, it looks like Audi's future rather than merely a derivative of Audi's present. A cockpit for touring. Audi is proud of the lack of compromises inside, and the e-tron GT appears to provide both a driver-oriented cockpit and sufficient comfort for other passengers for long-distance cruising. The instruments and main controls wrap slightly around the driver's seat. It's a common feature among sports cars, but one that perhaps doesn't quite rise to the monoposto nomenclature Audi appends to it. The multi-level, multi-texture dash does sweep gracefully around the front occupants, which should give a comforting sense of sitting within rather than on top of the car. It also angles away, toward the windshield, giving a sense of more space and also a three-dimensionality that keeps things from seeming too busy. After all, it's a riot of angles, textures, and screens, so the spatial separation of all these elements provides balance. Rear comfort is improved by the innovative foot garage Audi is so proud of. Rather than the completely flat floor of a skateboard-style EV chassis, the battery is scooped out in the rear passenger foot wells, allowing the two rear occupants to sit lower, underneath that very swoopy roofline, without sacrificing headspace for adults with taller torsos. Simple, effective, and surprisingly elegant it's a nice solution. Given the electric powertrain's green aspirations, there is a focus on sustainable and non-animal-derived interior materials. Don't worry, leather is still an option. But the standard seat dressing in the US is a synthetic leather material trimmed with Dinamica, made from recycled polyester fiber, and Alcantara. An intriguing cascade material is another seating option that is made of recycled selvages the edging on woven fabric that resembles wool. It's not just the materials used, either, as Audi says the entire production of the e-tron GT will be less impactful on the environment. Its production facility, 
which also makes the R8, burns biogas for heat and electricity, and Audi buys carbon credits to claim a net zero carbon footprint.